It's the number one beauty look right now. Lashes. Lashes, lashes, lashes. You see it everywhere you go. Everyone has them. Many women have built careers out of it. The lashes. The lashes. Some like them long. Some like them short. But it really doesn't matter because every single person who's using it has no idea what is inside the lash glue. Did you even know cyanoacrylate? I mean, let's just start here. One of the main ingredients that is found in all lash adhesives is cyanoacrylate. But did you know that cyanoacrylate is super glue? Yeah, it's the same thing. Is cyanoacrylate super glue? Yes. Is this found in almost all lash glues? Yes. This is what you have been using on your eye duct this entire time. Cyanoacrylate. So let's talk about this um this ingredient here because like I said, 90 to 95% of lash extensions, adhesives have cyanoacrylate. There's five different types. These are the five different types. They're going to tell you that they don't use methyl. They only use ethyl butyl, iox or whatever. But when we take off the methyl, the ethyl, the butyl, we can just deal with cyanoacrylate itself. And I mean, it has no reason to be on your skin, much less to be close to your eyes. No reason at all. But I know what you guys would do. You'd want to say, oh, but I want to see what are the toxicities? What is the effect of using it? Well, the toxicity of cyanoacrylate adhesives, this is very popular in other sectors. When you type it in, you're not going to find a lot about the glue per se, but you may find information about it being used in dentistry, in the medical industry, in the commercial applications as adhesives. But there's plenty of information about the toxicity of just being in the room with cyanoacrylate, i.e. super glue super glue we're talking about it has the ability to irritate the mucous membranes of the respiratory tract this is the reason why especially when you smell super glue it says that it can irritate your eyes wait but aren't you using it on your that part you wonder why your eyes are red after you get lashes that part it not only affects your eyes your mucous membrane but you see y'all feeling like it ain't a big deal because ain't nobody gone blind yet but you are blind, eyes wide shut style. Eyes may be wide, but they are super shut. Perception has been shifted in all different types of manners and you have no idea what's going on. You don't control yourself. No, you don't control yourself. You may think you do, but you don't. And I have plenty of proof. I mean, we just gotta start with this one word again. If you didn't know cyanoacrylate, i.e. super glues, i.e. crazy glue, was being used on the most sensitive mucous membrane in the human body. Think of this. Would you put some cyanoacrylate on your eyes and just close them shut? Did you know that that's technically what you're doing every time that you use eyelash glue, every time you get them lashes done? You are applying super glue, (laughs) super glue to your eyes. And you're wondering why you feel super stupid. You're wondering why you acting super stupid. Or maybe you're not. More than likely you're not because most women are not thinking that they have a problem right now. It's just from the outside looking in if you are able to get outside of this mindset, this mentality. You look back and you're like, dang, I was... I was doing some crazy stuff. I was using acrylates on my mucous membrane of my eye ducts. But do you know what acrylates is and where it's derived from? We're talking about it's derived from acrylic acid. Acrylic acid. Acrylates are derived from acrylic acid. Same thing that you're using for artificial nails and artificial lashes. But where's acrylic acid coming from? Propylene. Where's propylene coming from? This is the gaseous product of oil refineries. So now we're talking about petroleum, plastic, 
basically you are wearing plastic. You are putting plastic glue that releases formaldehyde on your eyes. Look at this. Rodents that were exposed to the vapors alone of acrylic acid, ethyl, methyl, you name it, exhibit damage to the olfactory epithelium, including inflammation, degeneration, loss of receptor cells, focal necrosis, and more, and way, way more. Even those who said that they, um, workers who were around cyanoacrylates never smoked had the highest relative risk of olfactory dysfunction. What are you using on your skin? Do you have any idea what is happening to you? No, this is the reason why women are becoming cyborgs in real time and no one is talking about it. Talk about chemical warfare to the max. These are different articles that show that they did um, some studies, unfortunately, on dogs, monkeys, and cats. They had nothing to do with this. But you know how these scientists, these modern doctors do. They did some work on these organisms. And look, the end point of it was simple. Brain damage. Neurologic manifestations. Demyelinating disorders. All from being in the vicinity of of methylcyanoacrylate. This is the effect on neural tissue. Well, you know that it's affecting your neural tissue because you're using it on your eyes. You're using it on your eyes. See, this is just about the fumes. This article here, look at this. This says that paint and glue fumes mess with your brain for decades. Now, this is just talking about the fumes. And they may not specifically be mentioning cyanoacrylate but don't be stupid don't be stupid we know it's petroleum so we can put one and two together chlorinated or petroleum solvents as well as benzene we're talking about the same thing here they're telling you that there was a study done with workers utility workers who um were around these solvents and it says that retirees with the highest and most recent level of exposure 12 to 30 years, not 12 to 30 days, 12 to 30 years, had trouble remembering words that they had heard verbally and retrieving information such as recalling animals in a minute. This is telling you that they had serious cognitive problems in areas that aren't even classified with solvents. Brain harming chemicals happening right now, every time you use those lash glues still not convinced let me take you on over here let me take you on over here let's bring you over to the international journal of pharmaceutics where they're talking about potential neurotoxicity with nanoparticles so nanoparticles in cosmetics this is already a thing it's not a thing of the future it's a thing of right now. The rapid development of nanotechnology, there's a growing interest in the application of nanoparticles in various fields of photonics, cata catalysis, magnetics, biotechnology, including what? Biotechnology, including what? Biotechnology, including cosmetics. Cosmetics. So you're the only one who ain't noticed. They've been putting nanoparticles on your face since makeup existed. Now, this article is more so about the toxic effect of those nanoparticles on the central nervous system. And there's a lot of studies that haven't been done about it. But one of the main reasons why nanoparticles are used, especially in, you know, the case of pharmaceuticals, is because it has the capacity to bypass the blood brain barrier. You see that here. It says that it has the ability to bypass the blood barrier brain barrier. So the reason why these nanoparticles are very um, key in certain dermal penetration, injection, inhalations is because it says here they're small enough to penetrate very small capillaries throughout the body and therefore they could provide the most effective approach to target certain tissues such as the brain and they can affect the physiology of any cell 
any cell in an animal body. So we got these nanoparticles in makeup that have the ability to target certain parts, certain tissues, and certain parts of your um, brain. And they're saying that it can do it with ease. Why? Because it's able to cross the blood-brain barrier. But get this, it gets even more interesting. Polybutyl cyanoacrylate. Wait a minute. Ain't that the same thing that's in your lash glue? Yes. Cyanoacrylate nanoparticles coated with polysorbate 80 facilitate the brain delivery of a number of drugs that were unable to cross the BBB. So what is this telling you? This is telling you that there are cyanoacrylates in your lash glue and they are able to do what? Cross the blood brain barrier. Don't be stupid. If it's already going through the eyelash or the eye duct, it is going straight to the blood. Straight to the blood. So now we're talking about nanoparticles that are coated specifically in cyanocrylate, not because it has no purpose, but because it specifically can facilitate the brain delivery of a number of drugs and this specifically is able to cross the BBB. Here it says the BBB is what? A specialized system that separates blood from the cerebral spinal fluid. It consists of endothelial cells connected by complex tight junctions which restrict the access of large or hydrophilic compounds to the brain. However, nanoparticles made of different materials can cross the BBB. They can not only cross it, they can also move inside the brain from the nasal cavity, which means you can inhale it. You can inhale these nanoparticles and they can go straight past the blood-brain barrier. So that's not all. As certain nanoparticles are not easily eliminated, do you not see this? How are you going to get it out, sis? They're not easily eliminated by clearance systems. They could accumulate within the brain and could elicit further cytotoxicity. So now we're talking about an accumulation of nanoparticles crossing the blood-brain barrier. This is a tight barrier that's supposed to protect the brain from the penetration of xenobiotics but now you're using these products that have nanoparticles that are made of certain materials that can cross the NP. What does this mean? Now this means that there's some neurotoxicity that's going to happen and that's you know what this article ends up going into more is the effects of nanoparticles overall. I'm just showing you that the very thing that they're using over there is the very thing that you using over here differences you have no idea of the science you have no idea of the effects you just see the results and these are the results these are the results and you want those results and you said i don't care i will do anything to look like her i will put polypropylene on my motherfucking eyes even though polypropylene products affected androgen hormones it's affecting your hormones and cause toxic and stress response in your cells i don't care i'm still gonna get my lashes done right i'm still gonna get them done i have no idea how it's affecting my organs i have no idea that there's damage caused to my central nervous system i just know i look cute right this is about acetone one of the key removers that's necessary to take it off because um, as girls who know who have used lashes, it's, it ain't that easy to just to pop them off. In order for you to take them off, you're going to need um, something very strong like acetone. I ain't going to make this video too long. I already know that y'all ain't got that big of a attention span because of these very chemicals. So I'm going to just stop it right here. Cyanoacrylate. Did you know that you were gluing your eyes shut, eyes wide shut? We're talking about super glue style to your lashes every single time you went out and did this thing. Chemical warfare at its finest.